two. Hey, how we doing, guys? Morning, everyone. Joe here. Gavin. Uh, so yeah, season four of Mad Men. Um, I I can't wait to see where this is going. That was an adorable little meow. I don't know if you guys heard that back there. <laughs> right. Um, we had a, such a killer finish to season three. They kind of blew the show up. They really did. You know, um, Don is getting divorced, which we saw coming about from season one. Yeah. But Sterling Cooper isn't Sterling Cooper anymore, no. which we did not see coming. They were working out of a hotel room the last episode. Yeah, right? It's like, wow, these guys are really as, as low as you can get. But at the same time, that's the brain trust, too. Yeah, they blew the company up. They, they want their own direction. They stole all the clients, essentially. Or a lot of them, anyway. Yeah. ones, you know, to, to, to make this business happen. Lucky Strike was the big one, obviously. Lucky yeah. Strike was huge. Pete brought an important one. Obviously, Roger had his from way back in the day, you know. Um, I think that's the only, the only one Roger took was uh, American Tobacco because he said he's like if I take anyone else they're not going to feel special. Was Don not like Lucky Strike? No, that was Roger. It was, was Roger. Okay. Strike, yeah. okay. Well, still they've got the important clients they need, right. and you know, um, and the people, right? They've Joan's got, back. Yeah, exactly. Joan's back, kind of in charge of running things where she belongs, which they've I'm very happy team. to see. Yeah, exactly. They've got Lane, and we, we were both saying we love Jared Harris. We want yeah. to see Jared Harris on the show. <laughs> yeah, it's good that he's there. He's not going anywhere anytime soon. Right? Yeah, he's a partner. I want to see how much time has passed, right? And I want to see we, if yeah, still in the hotel room. I'm kind of wondering what the, what the jump's going to be. Are we going to yeah. be in the hotel room? Are we going to be in a? Have we worked ourselves up to a small office or something like that? Sure. Or a bigger office? We don't know what the what the kind of the Glenn, the, uh, Glenn Gary Glenn Ross style. Yeah, exactly. Like if, we, if we yeah, if everyone's kind of in a bullpen yeah. situation, um, with like one real office for the for one of the partners, <laughs> like like Bert has an office and that's it. <laughs> Old uh, paintings. Yeah, but uh, no, it was. Eight people or so, um, and that's kind of how they're starting the new Sterling Cooper, and I think that's a lot of fun. Um, Pete, for all of the horror that Pete is sometimes, and we haven't forgotten the the, the horror show that is Nobody's Pete sometimes. He was a lot of fun in that final episode. He, really sick. he brought he brought so much of the calm. Hey guys, who was it? Um, Harry Crane's with me. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. they haven't told him yet. Yeah, yeah. no, it, it, it was a, it was a really good time. I, I I really like the fact that we have a completely new direction for the show in a lot of ways. We do, and I, you know, even outside of Sterling Cooper, or it's not Sterling. I, I have to get out of that habit of calling it Sterling Cooper. Well, I think it is Sterling Cooper. Cooper again. Oh, okay. Sterling Cooper, Draper, and Price. I think is what they said. I don't know if Campbell was in there too. I don't remember. I thought it was Sterling Cooper, Draper, Price is what they said. Name. That's a long one. Isn't yeah, it? they're just going to have to call themselves something like royalty. We'll just call it Sterling Cooper. Yeah, Sterling um, Cooper, SC. Yeah. But outside of Sterling Cooper, I want to see the personal stuff. I want to see Betty and sure. Henry. Is that a thing? How is that going? Yeah, the it, kids up to right. It depends on how again how far the time jump is to be where to be where we are in the Henry and Betty mess. I would not be surprised if Betty and Henry are married. Sure. And there's a lot of contention between Henry and Don. You know what, though, honestly. I get it, but at the same time, Don really has no right to be awful. No, I mean, don't, I don't give me wrong. I, right, I, I think you know. To reiterate, Betty and Don were both hor equally horrible last season. They were. I think they were. I think they were both horrible. Um, Betty, you know, we, she has her defenders, but she 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 left on not to leave Don because he's awful. I would have been like high five in her for that. She left on because she found a better deal. She no. found she found a guy she wanted to be with more, um, which is which is you know fine. It's not something like how can you say to Don? Don sucks. Don does um, suck. But again, her claiming of the high road was she, annoying we, to say the least. It was because she didn't deserve the high road. No. She and Don are neck and neck. <laughs> not early, not in season one and two, but by season the end of season three, they were neck and neck. It's hard to get behind somebody who is so self righteous with no it's, right to be. You know, there it is. That's you know? that's that's what bothers me about Betty more than anything. She's self righteous, but doesn't really deserve the high horse. I guess it's a little bit eye rolling, really. Yeah, you know? it, it, right. And like I said, we don't feel bad for Don. I no, mean, not even a little bit. We have a little empathy because he's a essentially a person who has no one to relate to. <laughs> right. He, he's this this lost man yeah he's, you know? <laughs> a, he's, a, he's a mess for sure and so in that regard sure but in terms of being a father a husband like yeah he made his bed yeah. he gets to lie in it i don't feel i don't feel bad for don for having his wife leave him it's an interesting choice right if you were supposed to feel sympathy for betty in a real way mm -hmm. she it, that she would have caught don with the teacher yeah. having an affair and said i can't trust you or obviously you haven't learned and leaves yeah that's how we could have ended the season but instead she she's she's leaving she never she never knows about it she's leaving dawn because she has somewhere else to go you know they could have even done it to where she was just stewing on it the whole season and I, she's like right. you know what i can't do this 
Yeah. And that would have been understandable. That would have been understandable too. They they the writers and the showrunners made the choice that Betty's no better than Dawn by the time the season ends. By the time the marriage ends. Yeah. And I'm I'm okay I'm okay with the decision, but it doesn't make me like Betty more any more no. than Dawn. No. Still uh, a great she's a very well constructed character. For sure. And 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 January Jones is performing her exceptionally well. That's a, she's a great actress in this role. But Betty's not a likable person any more than Don is. Nobody is, really. All right. But at any rate, we do want to welcome some new Patreon subscribers for the last uh, couple of days. So, Cody, Doug AM, Half Cadence, Shan, uh, Sugumar Mehta, Just Rush Once, Saul Siegman, Shane Martin, Chloe Grover, and Gnome Gold Edding. Thanks so much, guys, and welcome. We really do appreciate you being here. We do. Thank you. Uh, if you guys are watching us on YouTube for the first time, welcome to our channel. Uh, if you don't mind, hit the like button for us. Leave us a comment down below, and please, please, please hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date on the new content we have coming your way. Absolutely. If you'd like to see a full like, reaction to this and everything else we've watched or are watching, uh, please check out the link in the description below to our Patreon page, where you can mm -hmm. see lots of all sorts of content, including the first three seasons of Mad Men in their entirety. You will need to bring your own, of course, source material to link and watch along with us. Yes. And I wonder if there's going to be contention amongst the partners. It's a small business now, essentially, you know? Right. Well, I, I do think there's going to be more desperation. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not as comfortable. There's not as much money they're working with. They're going to have to swing big. Yeah, they, yeah, for sure. Excuse me? Who is Don Draper? No. That's a complicated question. Well, as I said before, I'm from the Midwest. You were taught that it's not polite to talk about yourself. <laughs> He's actually right. Yeah. Very good, then. I think I have all I need. It's only a few hundred words, but on the bright side, the picture may be bigger than the article. <laughs> Steady there. Korea. We're grateful for oh. your sacrifice. Peter. There's a lot to contemplate just from this scene alone. There was a lot going on there, wasn't there? Well, that was some powerhouse writing right there. Trailer. What exactly is your concern? Well, I must say I'm getting tired of saying this today. Next time, just have one meeting. <laughs> Bikini is underwear you wear to the beach. We make a two-piece bathing suit. What's the difference? We're a family company. Uh, our competitors get bigger, the smaller they make that swimsuit. We don't do yeah. that. Where the hell have you been? <laughs> wow. No Holy looks like cow. looks like they're doing okay for themselves. I don't mind waiting. Here we are thinking they're gonna be in a hotel room. Yeah. So much for the Glen Gary Glen Ross bullpen. That's not happening. Yeah. What exactly is the problem? Well, first of all, they're prudes. Second of all, Y and R were standing in the hallway. Get me in a room where I have a chance. Creatively, Y and R is not capable of living in this neighborhood. You know why? Because you don't work there. Enjoy it. It's the last thing we're going to get from them. What? Did you kill Sugarberry? That's a third of my work. Testing at four supermarkets in Queens. How much were they spending? Nothing. If the test was a success, they would have gone national and they could be a big account. Only other issue is the house. <sighs> what about it? Well, October 1st, she was supposed to be out. The only reason I care is because he's like, you don't do anything for him. I'll provide for you. And they're living in Don's house. I'd be a little hurt by that. <laughs> house he's paying for, yeah. Two women fighting over one hand, but they, they have to really fight. They have to get arrested or something. $25 for actress. We could get Gladys. What's her name? Yeah, two women go get a lady fight never takes off over a ham. I don't have any money. But you never said no to Jane's friend, Bethany. No. I was thinking <laughs> the other day about what happens when you leave here, and it made me very upset. You hit it off, come turkey day, maybe you can stuff her. Oh Roger. Roger. He's the one who said, when God closes Sweetheart, the door, he opens a dress. Eight o'clock Saturday night, Jimmy's the Grange. <laughs> Put that a t-shirt, right? Roger. Okay, good night. You have a good weekend. Need something. Ah, I have a bottle of dinner. <laughs> it's a good ad. It's a great ad. I was hooked. Yeah. I think we're getting a look into how sad his home life is compared to his work life. I was just going to say, I feel like he's... <sighs> He's probably not going to function well by himself. You know what I mean? He's he, this is a guy who couldn't be alone for five minutes. That's what I'm saying. You know? He's turning into Roger here. He is, isn't he? Yeah. Let's, let's, let's crash. I guess. <laughs> now let's watch him marry a secretary. <laughs> I'm breaking a lot of my rules seeing a divorced man. But Jane has made a lot of you different rules, different times. Well, I guess this is good night. Okay. 
That should be the cab driver being like, I, the meter's still running. Yeah. <laughs> the but I want to see you again. Well, not right now. Oh, Let's stop the meter. We can start it again. Let's see where we are New Year's Eve. If it's meant to be, it'll keep. Can I walk you on? No. I think you both really acquitted yourselves well. She doesn't know when to stop. You don't know when to stop. I've been assured that you ladies can look for your names and perhaps your picture in Monday's Daily News. What section? It's the Daily News. It's one big section. Did they ask Morning. Don? Or did they just Welcome do back. it? Did they ask Don? I don't think, I don't think so. I, I don't think Don's going to think that's cute. Donald Draper. Oh, or Don, never mind. as he is known, perhaps in an attempt to appear humble, is a handsome cipher. You didn't give him any facts. You had to make some assumptions. My job is to write ads, not go around talking about who I am. It'll be lining bird cages by Friday. This is a missed opportunity. You I turned all the that. sizzle from glow coat into a wet fart. Jane's friend found you to be charming, although a little grabby in the car. That is good news. Thank you. She... <laughs> it's beautiful. It worked. How do you put something like this in your book? You can't. We can't even charge them. We use it. The winner of the ham battle is you. Can you imagine? <laughs> Ray's dentures would drop out of his head if we came in with an additional buy. I just got off the phone with Ho-Ho. High Lai is leaving. What? Apparently, Don didn't mention them in the article. I didn't mention anyone. That's the reporter's job. He hung up on me. I think he was crying. The loss of High Lai makes Lucky Strike 71% of our billings. It's an untenably insecure position. Wow. If Lucky Strike were to leave, oh my God, they'd be God. dead. Don really blew that interview. He did, didn't well, he? You have to get you another interview. Yeah. Yep. Turning creative success into business is your work. Yeah. And you failed. Exactly. It's your job. You're the, he's the face of the company, whether he likes it or not. He is the face. It'll pass. That's because that's what's become of this country. Everyone has two Thanksgivings to go to. Does it mean we have twice <laughs> as much to be thankful for? a dig. Don't you like the food, dear? No. Sally Draper, it's rude. I love sweet potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't have much time. I have supper with my family. Oh, of course you do. It's getting dark. Bond's into some self-loathing right now. Yep. So things are getting weird at Don's house. He's, he, he's in denial. He's yeah. struggling. What's wrong? I need $280 for bail. Pete and I hired some actresses to get in a fight over a sugarberry ham. Call Pete. Do you think you're my first call? All right. Don't Thanks people think me. we're idiots, Peggy? Hey, there's no reason for name calling. Who are you? I'm the <laughs> yeah. Fiance. Mark. Oh, oh, wow. Why'd you bring him up here if you didn't want him involved? It's weird that he's living in Don's house after all the big proclamations of I can like I'll take care of you, right? Like That's weird, right? It's very weird. Are we being weird about that, guys? Is this weird? Somebody's gonna say it's we're not we're being overdramatic, but of course they are. But I do think it's weird. I mean it's her house, kid stability, I get all of that. But I just assumed that he'd have his own I did stage or something. I did too. I don't, I don't know. Hello, Don. Henry. Come on. Let's go. So you want to make out in the garage? You know what I'm doing. They might have more of a, um, other than a home. Dude, key. The weekend parent gets yeah. to be, gets, the a, fun parent. gets to be the artificial fun parent because yeah. they're not working and stuff. Yeah. And, yeah. and the house where their dad lived, now he's right. gone, so it's so right. yeah. you know. It's almost 10. I thought you said you said that late. She didn't. I waited for you plenty of times. Well, you were supposed to be out a month ago. We haven't found the right place for the kids. Don. I can't it's actually. Temporary. Believe me, Henry, everybody thinks this is temporary. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my. But he's right. Yeah. Haven't the kids been through enough change already? Since when do you have a fiance? I don't. Huh. You need to think a little bit more about the image of this agency. Our image remains pretty much where you left it. Yeah, it's on you for your mm -hmm. bad you interview. All we want to do is please you. I'm 
sorry a little girl spoiled your Thanksgiving. Next time I'll tell her not to get sick. I've raised children in my life, Henry. Honestly, Henry, I don't know how you can stand living in that man's dirt. Wow. Oh. So well built. We can't show you the second floor. They're not going to go for this. That's a little provocative. It's way provocative. It's clever, but it's too provocative for these guys. That's a little suggestive. Good. It is. That's what I was going for. Your competitors are going to keep killing you because you're too scared of the skin that your two-piece was designed to show off. Out. Get out. Done. Excuse me? Get your things and get out of my office now. In the case of Sterling Cooper Draper Price, would you say that's Donald Draper? Yes. So I walked into Lane Price's office and I said, fire us. Two things here. One, they've never done a needle drop like that. Yeah, that was pretty nice, And wasn't this it? whole episode has uh, really been about, like, you know, the changing of the tide. You Absolutely, know? yeah. And I like how, like, Don is, like, this contemplative, really quiet guy who's always, like, kissing up to the customers. So the customer's always right. And then we get that hard cut to get out of my office. To yeah. That. Right. It's like a Scorsese movie or something. Yeah, like it was. It's, yeah. it's very fast now, very fast paced. And it really feels like we are in a new, we're in uncharted territory. And so yeah. Don's realizing that. Don's realizing, like, times well, are changing. And, and I got to move. And, and that's the thing is that we've, we've kind of known for three seasons now that Don Draper will be whatever he needs to be. He's because he isn't anybody. Yeah. He can be anybody because he's not real. Yeah. He, he's, a, he's a made up persona. And so he's like, well, now I got to change. To this. To this, right. So now he's got to be a, a more arrogant, outgoing Don. You think going forward we're going to see him? You think yeah. he's going to be arrogant? You think that's going to be the case the rest of the show? I think the For music, music kind of helps sell that, but I think we're going to see shadows of... He's not going to be like a... My work speaks for itself. You get to know nothing about me, guy. He's going to yeah. be a little more in your face, I think. Now, in many ways, this was the epilogue down of the old Don. I think so. I, I believe that. Yeah. And I think that's. I think that's. You know, we we we've said goodbye to Betty in his in his marriage. We've said goodbye to to Sterling Cooper, and now we've got to have a, a a new Don to go with the new life and the new company. We're gonna get a dark Don then, because man, we got shades of it in the episode. Right. A little meaner. He's got that weird, uh, masochistic. He's, nature about him, right, yeah. He's having that escort slap him around and stuff. Yeah, he's he's a bit meaner, and he's and he's self loathing for sure. And like, he, I think he always has been, but now it's more direct. So I want to see if this pays off for him because uh, it, when he was working at the other company, he didn't have a contract for the right. most part, for, 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 for the majority of it, right? Right. And he was modest. Yep. He was always like he held he held hands, right? He's he holding did. hands and helping get to the right spot. Now they own the company, and he is the boss. He can. Be like, get out of my office. Get out of here. To, to a client. He couldn't have done that before, for sure. He's acting like he's in high demand. Yeah. He's, yeah, you're right. He's selling himself. So we'll see now. Because remember, when those, when those guys come in, even Roger was like, it's hard to tell who the client is here. He's like, yeah. He, he, we got to realize now that the commodity they're selling is, isn't advertising. It's Don. So he's got his foot off the brake. Yeah. He's gunning it. So. Yeah. I'm very much looking forward to see where we're going. Um, I don't like harping, but I do want to get back to how Betty is presented in this episode. Sure. Um, yeah, we said earlier, no comment. <laughs> right, and 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 I and again, I don't want to I don't want to turn this into a bash Betty session because I don't I, I don't think that's we we we've, we've said what needs to be said about where she was at the end of the relationship with Dawn. Mm -hmm. um, but I do want to reiterate, I I. I I think we're supposed to kind of be on Don's side a little bit at least about yes. where she is in her life, about still living in his house. Pat, Past and agreed upon time. Like, again, you know, it's it's like a writers. You know, writers make choices, right? Yep. And then the writers on this episode decided the choice is going to be, yeah, they're still living in Don's old house, Don and Betty's old house, but they put in the detail that like they had an agreed upon move out date, mm -hmm. and we have blown past that by a month. I don't think you're supposed to be like, well, you know, Betty, you know, she's just doing what she can for the even kids. Henry, said even that. Henry was like, I hate to say it, but he's right. Those yeah. Henry's words. They need to get out of that house. I thought it was weird of Henry to be there at all, but after that, it kind of feels like okay, it wasn't really Henry's decision. No, Betty's the one calling the shots here, because yep. he's asking her, "Should I be here? Should I not be here?" Right, and and he's like, you, you know, she's like, "I haven't found a place yet." You're not even looking. Yeah, and you know, the show it, the show is in on the joke. It's a, right. This was a very meta episode. Starts Absolutely. off with who's Don Draper, and then you even have the scene with Henry and I'm assuming that's his mom. 
Yeah, that was with Miles Henry's mom. Okay. And she's like, you're living in another man's dirt. She was bagging on Betty. Mm-hmm. She was actively out there, like, you know, commenting on, on, on Betty's character, essentially. Right. Know? And um, she might have went too far. No, I think she I think she went too far, for but sure. that's the point, right? Right. Because there's been three seasons of the show. This is not free internet. You know how people are discussing this show. And right. also, they haven't been subtle about Betty's nature you know right. so this is them addressing that and right. I, I like that it's 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 supposed to be on the nose right um i have to be honest with you and, and, and this isn't pointed at anybody but in the world in general i'm kind of surprised there's so many hardcore betty defenders mm-hmm. like i get like she's a product of her times and her upbringing sure. right i empathize with betty because she she had, she's had no agency on this show because she was raised not to have any. That's kind of the point, right? She was raised from birth to be the housewife of a rich, successful guy. Yeah. And she doesn't have other those other things um, that, that, that other women would have. Even in this time period, other women would have. We're supposed to see what the impact of you raise your daughter to be a to be, you know, you know, Henry Gibson's dollhouse, you're gonna get a doll. Um, and that's kind of what Betty is, she she doesn't. Her dad even said she doesn't have the skills based on how she was raised to not be somebody's wife. Yeah. Um. And so I, I it's weird that she has so many people defending her decision making process and her and her election, you know, process. Yeah. Um. Based on some really questionable calls she makes, and to some of her defenders, some of the defenses they bring up about her are would, fair. They're they're completely fair. they're fair, but I would argue. That's not the show. Right. That's not the point of the show. Like, yeah, everything you said is fair. Yeah, but that's not what they're trying to say. Sure, and, and, and I get you know it's 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 art. It's subjective. Every everyone's take on 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 characters, everyone's opinion yep. of characters is completely valid. Um, you you mentioned Skylar White. Skylar White is a little character. A lot of people really couldn't stand. A lot of people really defended. And I get both. But was you that know, the intent? Like, right. It, it, it's right. all about the intent of the the showrunner and writers of the show. Like, they're supposed to make right. it feel a certain way. I, I I do. And if you're if you're gonna go with intent, I, I'm less inclined to look at intent. I'm like, well, I don't care what your intent is. Here's the show you made. Yeah. Um, but I will still say, I think there's been plenty of times, including this in this episode, where the sh- where the writers gave us stuff mm-hmm. that's supposed to that, that is supposed to say. You really shouldn't be too much on Betty's side here. Yeah. In season one and two, absolutely. But as we move forward, it was muddier then. It, yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. It, but but now I don't think we're supposed to, in the takeaway, be so defensive of, of of Betty because she makes some pretty questionable and selfish calls. Don does too. I'm not defending Don, but in but just in terms of looking but at Don's Betty, an a-hole. Yeah, Don, Don Don sucks. Yeah. Um, but in terms of looking at what Betty has has is and has done, like I think even Henry's kind of like. Uh, sweetie, <laughs> yeah, a little bit, you know. I wonder if uh, they break up eventually. You know, I mean, they weren't very subtle about it. Even Don was like, "Oh, Henry, nobody thinks it's gonna last." You it know? was a great. Every, dig. Everyone thinks this is temporary. I, yeah. That was it. That was a great dig. Um, but like you said about intent, it's like exactly whatever you start off intending the show to be. Mm-hmm. When you finally put it out there, it's up to the audience. It's up to the audience, that, right? right? You, you put it in the universe, and you don't get to say what the audience takes away from. So it, I wonder right? if that you know. In TV shows, you have the luxury of you know changing run, it down the yeah, road, right? Yeah, changing changing focus or re, or or putting more emphasis on things down yes. the road. And you're right; it, it might be a case where things evolve. Right, it might be a simple situation where in seasons one and two, it was like poor Betty Don's a monster. Right. I was there, right? Yeah. Season three, it started to get more into well, Betty's complex. right, it gets more complex, right? Don still sucks, but Betty's not being great either here. Right. To get to the end, it's like okay, now Betty's kind of being a hypocrite now at this point. Yes. At this point, and a lesser show would not address it, right? And 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 so I wonder if like in that, in, as you said, in real time, if audiences were like, yeah, go Betty, Don sucks, and the writers were like, hold on a second, hold on a second, <laughs> maybe we need to show a little bit more of why that's not really what we're going for yes you know and maybe i don't I don't know i'm not in the writer's room i but. just love that it's not the same like, right everybody craps on they don't crap on season two but people say season two is weak it's not weak i like season it's two. different yeah it's different but i like it yeah. season two is different from one right three is different from two and now it's very clear that four mm. is going off in a whole new direction and that's exciting television it's provocative. no it's great it's, it's great it's great television and I, and I love the fact that we, that, that we have characters who are so rich and complex on this show yeah. that we can have long debating conversations about them you could talk about this the, one right? episode from the show exactly. one single episode you could talk about for hours right i mean it's like uh you know that, that that's the mark of a good show like if you were watching like an 80s 
you know, cop, you know, I mean, like, our, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Magnum PI, whatever. Sure. Uh, if you're going to watch one of those shows, could you spend a long time debating the, 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 the makeup of a character on one of those shows? No, because they're pretty much paper thin. They are. I love those part. Yeah. Those are fun shows. Yeah. I'm not dogging the shows, but in that time period, the, the, the writing on Mad Men is not what the writing on most t- TV dramas has been. Well, that was, historically. So, like a like a Magnum PI or Mammy Vice, that's kind of what the people on this show are selling, right? It's all aesthetic, it's right. all vibe, it's all right. Right. it's selling something. This is actually cutting to the core of these people, right? Yeah, we have we have characters who are much much more rich and nuanced, yes, and worth talking about. People like Don Draper and Betty Draper are worth talking about. My God, the set design! Oh, this, I love it, dude. Yeah, I love this, it so much. This show has not lost one inch. Of its perfection. It's fantastic. This is the greatest show ever. It's got to be up there, right? I, it's my favorite. My personal favorite. We're not even done with the show yet. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Yeah. All right, guys. We shall catch you soon on the next one.